With the latest update to sync pages in Quota Docs, we can bring a specific page from a doc into another one and any data within that page can be view only but accessible to everyone with the destination doc. So in the sandbox doc, I want to add a sync page from the task dependencies doc and I want to sync specifically the task dependencies page, for example. So I'm going to go here. I do not want to include sub pages, so I will create. This will open the sync page options here where I can include sub pages and I can define the access level and that's the new functionality here and until before this launch only this option was available only people with source doc access which means in order for a user to see this sync page in the sandbox doc they also need to have access to the task dependencies doc but now with the new launch there's also another option that is everyone in this doc and if i select this that means that everyone in the sandbox doc will be able to see and only see not edit yet although the coda team says that they are working on it so the next step might be editing access as well as restricting access to specific pages with in a doc which can unlock much more possibilities in terms of sharing settings and granularity on each doc that until now has been very not present in the Quota Docs ecosystem and creating some problems and limitations when it comes to centralizing data while also allowing that data to be viewed by other users. So in this case I'm going to do continue and you can see that this sync page becomes view only here at the top. I can close this one. I can see page not synced because there is a sub page but I did not select to sync the sub page and then I can see here the toggles. I can open the page as a user and and here, let's say if we were to filter this page for responsible contains current user, this allows us to segregate data essentially from the source doc. So let's go to the source doc and I will show you what that looks like. The doc is called task dependencies. It is composed of three pages here. The page that we are syncing is the first one, task dependencies. We are only syncing this page and not any sub pages. That's why we don't see this one in the destination doc, as you can see here. And when I go to the share menu of the source doc, task dependencies, I can see that here there is an option that says some pages are synced in other docs. So this this allows me to know that some pages in this doc have been synced out of it. So if I want to manage that, I can open the manage menu and I can see there the some pages have been synced to the sandbox document, which is the one that I showed you before. And if I want, I can remove access from here. So I'm now in the source doc that is task dependencies. And let's say I want to filter by user is any of current user. Let's close this. And now when I go back to the sandbox doc within the sync page, I can see that that filter has not applied on the destination doc. But if I go to sync page options and then I change to only people with source doc access, now you will see that the filter actually applies and I'm only seeing my tasks just like I am here in the source document. So this is an access level limitation currently that if you have a filter for a specific person, for example, in the source doc, that filter will not carry over to the destination doc sync page if you select everyone in this doc and as you can see here if I select that back the sync page refreshes and it shows all the tasks for both users that I have here this and this and you can see that's the case because the person type column in Coda sync pages is not supported for filtering purposes neither are relation type columns but as a user in the synced page in the sandbox doc that is the destination one in this example I can still filter by completed for example here I can filter by date by task name I can search but I can't filter for responsible in this currently that is the behavior of sync pages across docs in Coda. So that's an update on this functionality. The next step according to the Coda team, and you can find the link to the post in the Coda community describing these details in the description. The next step will be to allow sharing of specific pages within a Coda doc, which would enable many more functionalities, especially for use cases such as client portals or restriction of sensitive data without having to use too many workarounds in terms of splitting the data into multiple docs and then maybe aggregating them back via the API or specific custom packs. So now that is it. Once the upcoming feature is out, I will likely make a video about that if it is worth it and if there is enough content and new features available for that. Thanks for watching for now and see you in the next one.